Looks like some of those out west will be getting hit by a pretty decent line of storms uh, come tonight and early tomorrow. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into that in today's weather forecast. Good afternoon everyone, this is Electro Living Weather back for another forecasting video with you all today. Um, so today we will be talking about the potential for a pretty decent line of storms that will be um, hitting some of those out west. Looks like in Kansas and Missouri are getting pretty um, getting a pretty bad hit from this line of storms as we are seeing on this model that we are going to be looking at today. Which is the NAM 3 kilometer model, which is my favorite um, weather model out of a mall because it just shows so much detail and so much things that we need to know but anyways if you guys haven't please be sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified for my latest uploads and uh streams but anyways let's go ahead and get right into this video also i can't forget if you guys haven't please be sure to subscribe uh, not sorry not subscribe uh join the um weather for life discord server link is in the description if you guys have discord please be sure to join that otherwise let's get right into this video because we have something pretty um significant that we are going to have to be uh tracking here for the um next little um bit here um uh, going into tonight but anyways um so of course right here is the line of storms that we are going to be um watching out for for the next uh, little while here today uh but anyways so um let's go ahead and uh, get all the way back to the um model uh all the way back to the uh, start of the model and as we can see here um looks like we just have a little um bit of rain going on let's go ahead and zoom all the way out um to our uh, continental United States here. And so, um, looks like that we are seeing a 997 uh, millibar low pressure um, out in, looks like the uh, center of that is in Kansas there. But anyways, all of this here is what we need to be watching. So let's go ahead and watch it very closely as that does move over um, uh, the Rockies and into the Dakotas as we are seeing there. So a bunch of rain there. It looks like that we are seeing quite a bit of snow, which we will actually get into today as well. I would like to show you guys some of the snow amounts. So hopefully I don't forget that. But anyways, um, for now, we're going to be um, tracking this uh, severe weather event that will be um, that will be unfolding in um, the central plains as we are seeing there. So that big, huge um, thing of rain that does come in from the uh, northern Rockies as we are seeing there. That was Montana and Wyoming has not now all shifted down. Looks like into the Dakotas and uh, Nebraska there. But then let's go ahead and now zoom in to uh, the central plains because this is where our uh, significant weather event will be taking place. So... Um, so as we are seeing here, this is all the um, rain activity, all of this up here, all of that up there. That's um, all of that up there is not going to be something that we'll will be worrying about. Uh, it looks like that some of those might be seeing some pretty high winds as we are seeing those isobars. That's what these lines here are called. These are called isobars, and the closer they are together, the windier it will be. So as we are seeing here, uh, just south of Nebraska here, and actually in Nebraska too, we're seeing some uh, pretty si uh, significant rainfall going on there. But right here, all in Kansas, right there is what we need to be working on, um, looking at. So um, now that right there, uh, it looks like that it just blows up into this line uh, as it does get into eastern Kansas. And looks like that it does um, kind of start going into uh, Missouri as we are seeing there. Yep, yeah, right there is when it starts to go into Missouri. It looks like uh, Kansas City, which is around this area here, will be... Um, hit quite a bit from this line of storms. So um, something to really keep our eyes on as we do uh, get closer to this event, which will be happening um, early tomorrow, uh, late tonight, um, early tomorrow. So um, that line of storms does look to be going to the uh, uh, southeastern. Um, well, it looks like that it does uh, continue all the way down into uh, south central or southwestern uh, Missouri there, as we are seeing right there. But then it dies out because um, we are seeing maybe some um, hilly terrain going on through there. Uh, so right there, yeah, that's where the Ozarks are. They're all in through here. Um, but anyways, that dies out, and then it just turns into a little thing of showers as we do um, head into, it looks like that this is around um, tomorrow morning. So... Um, 
May 9th. Um, so this is a Sunday morning. And then we're seeing just this big uh, area of showers that do uh, move across the Ohio Valley, which will be, bring some pretty um, decent amounts of rain. But then something else that we do need to look at too is all of this down here. So all of that down there, that's um, another line of storms that will be a part of this um, severe weather event, looking like that it could potentially bring some decent amount of uh, severe weather down there too, as we are seeing um, going into Monday. So um, Sunday, Monday, uh, and even tonight are uh, times that we do need to look at uh, with severe weather because this could be very interesting as we do um, move closer to the event that this will be taking place. So, uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and now take a look at our dew points, our very awesome dew points on the uh, Great Nam 3 kilometer model. Great model, I love this model. So um, as we are seeing here, um, the uh, moisture is not over the, uh, through the roof, but it is actually pretty decent to the point where, um, you know, we could be seeing some um, pretty active storms going on through here. So upper nine, uh, upper, not the upper 90s, that would be pretty crazy. Um, upper, uh, yeah, upper 60s and maybe some of those uh, in the lower 70s, which is down in Oklahoma. But that is not something to extremely worry about because that is not the path that these blind storms will be taking. So uh, which is good news some of those in Oklahoma but anyways so um anyways yes we can see this division between um the uh, dew point temperatures right there we're seeing um upper mid to upper 50s we're actually seeing some lower 50s right there but anyways so um yes upper uh 50s um just um past where the uh line of storms will be this is where our line of storms are um, going to be at this time here so that'll move through um eating up all that moisture as it does move into um missouri and it looks like that we are seeing um some uh dew point temperatures in the upper 70s as well so something to really look at too as we do look uh, as we do get closer to this event but anyways so um that does move through and so we're seeing um dew point amounts of um up to almost into the 70s as we are seeing their upper 60s so um we are going to keep an eye on that but anyways uh let's go and now take a look at our um cold front that will be associated with this line of storms and so um of course it looks like that we are seeing some pretty cold air uh, it looks like in um i believe that that's south dakota right there so going in from the northwest um coming in from the northwest there we're seeing some uh, cold air but anyways um a lot of warm air coming up from the south and so that cold front uh, will come through as the line of storms, which is right here about. Uh, so that'll come through from the northwest, and uh, that'll bring some pretty chilly temperatures um, for uh, those in the uh, central plains. And it looks like that we're seeing some pretty cold temperatures up in, in the uh, Rockies too. So um, make sure to bundle up if you guys are um, in that area because it's going to get pretty chilly. But anyways, so that cold front will continue down through as the uh, line of storms do continue all through the Ohio Valley. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and now get into our um, cape amounts because this is um, pretty much thunderstorm activity. So without this, um, you know, thunderstorms will not be able to erupt through the area. So of course we are seeing some pretty um, high amounts of cape all in through there. Uh, so right here is where our line of storms are. Uh, all right there, we can see the division um, between um, all of this um, uh, air that is dry from Cape, and then we're seeing this pretty um, decent explosion of Cape uh, coming up from uh, Oklahoma there. That'll all um, go through um, into Missouri, and then um, just just all that, all those storms just eat up all of that Cape as it just goes through. So uh, as we're seeing here, we're seeing very large um, Cape amounts, 6,000, which is through the roof, by the way. So, um, but thank goodness for our dew points are not crazy. So uh, hopefully we um, don't see too much with that. Uh, sorry about that. That was just a thing from my phone. But anyways, so... Um, not it's not through the roof um the dew point amount so hopefully we don't uh see something super intense from this but still we are going to keep our eyes on this uh line of storms as we do move into um the time it does happen bulk shear amounts let's get into that because uh, this is what tornadoes need to um to uh, form up so the more of this uh 
the um, where there can be and the um, longer they can uh, be around for. So uh, as we are seeing, we're seeing some pretty decent amounts of bulk share going into here. So right here is our, where our line of storms are. We can see that um, going through right there. So um, yes, of course, those do move through. Um, and that does move through uh, Missouri. Um, so that does uh, go through t down to the uh, south um, southwestern Missouri. Uh, South Central uh, Missouri, as we do see that uh, going through. So um, tornadoes might be something that we might need to uh, keep our eyes on as well. So um, so depending on the time that this uh, severe weather um, event does happen, I could potentially be going live because this does look like it is a pretty um, significant severe weather event. Um, so if it does happen um, throughout the day, then I will potentially be going live. Uh, for the severe weather event because it does look pretty significant uh, significant enough for a stream to happen uh, but anyways now um, so we got that part of the severe weather event let's get um, the next part of the severe weather event covered because this is um, what will be happening on Monday so um, as we do see here this is actually a part of the um, severe weather event uh, we can see all we well there's a bunch of showers that are all up there if I do um, Go, uh, zoom up to the Ohio Valley. We can just see all those storms that did move um, through Missouri into um, the Ohio Valley. Looks like Kentucky there. Uh, we're just seeing a bunch of um, uh, isolated, um, not isolated, uh, scattered thunderstorms and showers there. So that'll be moving through. But then that does um, look like that it does uh, die out. But then we're seeing this in Arkansas in Mississippi. So some of those in the deep south might really need to watch the skies as we do uh, move into Monday because um of course they could you guys could be seeing some severe weather erupt um going into monday so which is unfortunate because they did just see a pretty large severe weather outbreak in the deep south in which they really don't need any more but unfortunately we are going to be seeing uh some severe weather uh erupt for those down south so um this is something that we do really need to keep our eyes on unfortunately for you guys in um missouri so um or not missouri uh the deep south in mississippi there so um let's now go ahead and uh, take a look at the um, storms in the deep south um so as we can see here here's our line of storms here and those will be moving through um this will be uh moving all through the uh, uh state of missouri it looks like uh, upper um upstate missouri will be um uh, seeing some stuff there it looks like the uh three corners uh the um border of the three states there will be seeing some pretty uh significant severe weather going through there too so uh and then those will uh doubt pretty quickly um as we do get into um as we do get later into that day it looks like that they will be um happening um late tomorrow into uh early monday so um something to really keep an eye on as we do move into the new day let's go and now take a look at our dew points uh because again uh, moisture is something that we do need or that um thunderstorms do need to um that they do need to um, uh, strengthen up and um, survive anyway. So as we can see there, we can see the division between the two um, dew point temperatures there. We can see the um, really moist air uh, coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, um, as we do see there going into um, Louisiana and uh, Mississippi there. So all that, yeah, right there is where our line of storms are. And then all just all those lines of storms will just be eating up all that moisture uh, as we do, um, as it does um, continue to uh, track southeast. Um, so let's go and now take a look at our temperatures. So uh, let's go and now take a look at the uh, cold front that they will be seeing associated from this uh, line of storms here. And as we are seeing, uh, we're not seeing too um, much of a um, cold air blast going in right now here. Uh, so, of course, uh, warm air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and cold air coming down from the northwest so um but then it looks like um could get decently chilly for some of those in um north uh northwestern mississippi right there it looks like that they could be dropping down into the 40s um going into monday so um pretty chilly temperatures uh that we will need to be watching it looks like arkansas could be seeing um some temperatures into the 40s as well um upper 40s so it's gonna get pretty cold uh for some of you guys uh in that area so um 
Let's go and now take a look at our um, CAPE values because once again, convective available potential energy is thunderstorm uh, energy and um, thunderstorms need this to survive. Um, so, but anyways, as we are seeing here, um, we're not seeing um, crazy amounts. It's not just, it's not incredible amounts. It's just a, it's a decent amount that we are seeing. Um, but I, most likely the reason why that we are seeing some severe weather happen in this area is pretty much probably be, uh, from because the um, dew point temperatures that we are seeing in this area. Um, actually, there is a pretty decent amount of cape there, so, um, pretty um, decent explosion of cape there, but then it just uh, it just eats up that line of storms that just goes from um, Arkansas all the way into um, Mississippi there. It, it just eats up all that cape, uh, and then it dies out eventually due to the um, fact that it is um, lacking some of that cape in this area right here. Um, seeing a pretty uh, big donut hole or, um, of um, of um, where there is no cape uh, in that area. So, um, but anyways, so um, decent amount of cape going on um, in uh, the deep south there as we are seeing. Let's go ahead and take a look at our bulk shear mounts because this is what tornadoes need again to... Um, or if they want to produce tornadoes, then yes, we do need bulk shear in this area. So, um, as we are seeing here, once again, our line of storms is um, around here. So, um, as we do head into um, late Sunday into early Monday, so that does travel through. And then, um, so we're not seeing too um, uh, excessive amounts of bulk shear, which is good news for some of you guys in Mississippi because you guys really don't need too much after what happened um, last week, unfortunately. So, um, but anyway, so we're seeing um, uh, bulk shear amounts of up to, looks like 60 knots, maybe um, 65 knots, uh, six, uh, 64 knots right there. So um, decent amounts of uh, bulk shear, but um, not incredibly huge amounts of it, So, which is good news for some of you guys. So um, yes, this could be a line of severe thunderstorms that could potentially be moving through, um, looks like uh, Mississippi and um Louisiana there so but anyways before I get I actually also do want to show you guys some of that snow that did um that was um going on in um the Rockies there so um let's kind of change back to our precipitation um, um model of the um NAM three kilometer here and then so um as we are seeing here we're seeing some pretty decent amounts of snow going on in the Dakotas so uh, if we go ahead and now check out uh, our uh, accumulated snowfall, we are seeing um, over a foot in some areas uh, with the snowfall that will be going on with the system that will be producing that severe weather in the um, central plains in the south, uh, in the deep south there. So um, you guys could be getting some pretty decent amounts of snow in May, which is crazy. This has been a very cold um spring for sure uh this is according to the nam three kilometer but also for some of you guys in the northeast and um some of you guys in the upper ohio valley you guys could be seeing some snow as well uh maybe up to over um half the foot uh which is really nuts for um may especially this time of the year too i mean that that is just pretty that that is crazy to see i mean it, it, it's looking um I don't know if some of you guys do recall, but um, last year it did get pretty cold. I uh, think that the um, GFS model did once predict um, a, um, a storm that will produce that would produce snow all, all up and down the uh, east coast, all throughout here. Um, if I do recall, anyways, there were quite a lot of snow squalls that did uh, happen throughout um, the uh, spring, uh, which was pretty crazy to see. Very cold spring last year. And unfortunately, once again, a pretty cold spring this year. So hopefully things do warm up as we do go into next week, uh, which is uh, probably pretty likely for uh, some of those um, in the U.S. But anyways, so um, that is pretty much what we have for today's um, um, weather forecast on Electro and Weather. Once again, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do that. Um, be sure to like this video, this awesome video and uh, be sure to uh, hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified for um, for um, latest uploads and streams and also 
Another reminder, please be sure to join our uh, Discord server. Link is in the description. Uh, our very great um, weather Discord server, Weather for Life. So if you guys haven't, please be sure to join that. I would um, be very thankful if you guys did that. But anyways, so... Anyways, that does wrap up for today's weather forecast, and I will see you guys very um, soon.